Today we're gonna check out how to flatten transparency here in Illustrator. Okay, so I'm gonna select the type tool, type in something. By the way, I went with the Mango Grotesque Extra Bold Italic. And we're gonna to need to create two more copies of this. So I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it to the left, also press Shift. And I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna recolor them. I'm gonna start with the left one. Let's go to Swatches. And for this, I'm gonna select the yellow. And for the second one, I'm gonna go and select this pink. And the third one is going to be Cyan. Let's select them all and let's go to opacity and change the blend mode to multiply. Okay, so another important thing that we're going to need to do in order to make this happen. Let's go to the layers and we're going to open it up. And as you can see here, we got the three layers with the three colors and make sure that the layer with the magenta color is on the top. So drag and drop on the top, the text with the magenta and the second one needs to be the cyan and not but least the third one, it is going to be the yellow font. And great, let's go back to the properties, zoom in to the yellow and drag the magenta on the yellow. We're gonna need to snap these perfectly. So we're gonna go to the view and go to snap to pixel. And now I'm gonna drag it. And as you can see, now it's snapping there. Now I'm gonna drag the cyan somewhere here. Now this effect is really cool, but it has its own issues because we went to opacity and we changed it. So because of that, for example, if I wanna put a background, you can see nothing is happening. By the way, this black rectangle is at the bottom. I'm gonna right click, arrange, send to back, and you can see it's full black which is not good. So because of that, we're going to select the text. Let's go to object and let's select the flatten transparency. You also can click on convert all text to outlines. Click OK. Now if you zoom in, you can see everything is cut into pieces. I'm going to right click on group and here we got a fill color. So it transformed these blend modes into fill colors. So this way we don't have any blend mode or opacity differences. And that's how you use the flattened transparency in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.